my hair looks atrocious. Um, you know, I was just thinking I could use a rat souffle in a time of his life. <laughs> Good lord, that's gross. Um, there you go. Hey, Reese! Turn on the other light. Please just go get me my hairbrush. Please. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, can I no! Yes! Just go get Reese. Literally just go grab my bag. In the car, I told you. Stop arguing with me and just do it. Please. Please. Hurry up! You're not putting socks on first. I'm not, I'm just carrying a sock in my hand. Jesus! Men! <sighs> well, how are you today, anyway? We're gonna at least click continue here. Bro, hangnail. <laughs> Jesus, that's love right there. She's gonna murder him tonight. Uh, he has work tonight, so I don't have to do that. Okay, I am gonna pause it though. Since you took so long, you can hear me my D now too. If you set that bag where I can't reach it, I swear to God, we're gonna have an issue. <laughs> I woke up and chose violence today. I'm sorry. Obviously, you woke up and chose violence. <laughs> Give me my big, bro. Your big. Give me my big. Your big. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Hairbrush. Yeah. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Yo. Where is it? Here it is. Hey. That worked. Material goal. Material goal. He's gonna call home and be like, you make some lunch here. Gonna say, remember when you was slow with the brush? No starve. Uh, yeah, basically. Luckily, ow. Luckily for me, I don't have to bring him lunch. <laughs> nope. I just won't eat. You only work a four hour today, don't you? I work from four to twelve. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> hey, the only thing you told me was that you go to work at four. Yeah, and I usually work till twelve. Mm, not usually, considering you were the one that said they were cutting hours. Yeah, they're cutting days, not like hours, hours. Like, I'm not working like four to like nine. Okay. Yeah, anyway, anyway, now that we're actually prepared. We're never prepared. What was I doing? Playing the game right now. Enter the space god people's house. What the fuck is that? No, yeah, that is what I'm doing. Okay. So I have to go all the way over there. Love that for me. We. Now the streamer has fixed her hair as all streamers do. We ready? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't want my hair to look atrocious on camera, bro. Also, Material girl! Material girl! Material girl. Honey. Run, bitch, run! Mm, run. Oh my god, hi. Fuck you want, bro. I just want to give you a kiss. Oh, disgusting. I know, right? How... How dare, How dare my husband give me affection? That's gross. Alright, so disgusting. Absolute. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> mm. 
so tabby for research what Sword and shield, sword and sword, big ass sword with big ass sword, or just one big ass weapon? Yes. For, for what? The answer is 69. <laughs> I don't know. It only is 69. <laughs> don't know what to do. 69. Um. I don't know, man. I'm kind of a double sword per kind of person. Reese, do not take that out of context. I'll backhand you. Not even sure how that could have been taken out of context. But what? Okay. How you're a double sword kind of person? A double sword kind of person? Oh, you're the one today. making it weird. I think he Nobody else thought that until you did. He could have I helped. Think, I, I, sure. He okay. I help All right, Reese. Mm -hmm. Sus. You're sus. You're anyway. Sus. Was trying to figure out what your character on Elden Ring may be. Double sword while going to be like Alex and not tank. I mean, you can still be a tank with two weapons. Dual, wheel, dual wielding is not like set for only one type of character. Of course, everyone knows Santa brings it's more common for certain types of characters, but I've been a tank that double, uh, yeah, double wielded, dual wielded before. We know Tappy for preserved double mall. What is. Yeah, yeah. Eh. I have hair in my mouth. Two spiky balls flailing around. I'll see myself out rip. Flail, not maul, my bad. Eh. Love we're at the very beginning of the stream and we're just running. Let me know if the audio is too loud, by the way. jump up there like that damn okay sally be weak as fuck i guess they've already started 
I've got to get to the poison before they all take it. Hmm. Is there like another way in here? Can I like sneak in somewhere? should still be able to get over that. Oh, that is bullshit. I was totally over that. Okay, whatever. Fine. How am I trespassing when I'm not even inside the gate? Truth be told, I can barely hear the game. Hear the jumps, though. Oh, okay. Hold up. Uno momento. Uh, perhaps this will be better. I'm going to just run in and see how this works for me. I need to save before I do that, because if I die, like, I'm going to be a dummy. <laughs> why, why don't I just sneak a little bit? Like a normal person, you know? Totally over that segue to uh, getting getting over it. Mm -hmm. Now Sally got some heavy footsteps to scare. Have you seen or heard of the anime Berserk? No, I have not. Are y'all just... You hear that? Okay. In it, there's a guy named oh Guts who wields... No. Who wields an average-sized sword. Some would even say big, but in enemies... Uh, say every time he swings it, someone dies. I've created a black version of Guts. Just watching the stream power training while waiting for Alice to be put down. Fair enough. There's no punishment except 
have your own ready huh? made punish oh, the no. door retribution yeah. unless you already feel yes. like you're being retributed. You just want to say you don't advance and sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh burns. Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't so they? The and there. they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not really in orbit? What if there is no my entire head is poking out, but somehow I'm That's what open. you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. Just popping you in to say hey before going back to work. Okay, Chaotic, thank you so much for helping in. I appreciate it. Have fun at work. Uh oh. Does it seem strange? They're coming over here. Alright, buddy. Shouldn't. Jesus Christ that way, though, correct? Or whosoever will save his life. Yeah, shouldn't. buddy. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek auction. Liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've taught to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there. But if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. Thank you for the lurk, I appreciate it. How you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. We have to never have too many lost I need to figure out a different sound for my husband. God damn it. We have to have faith that the transcendent will catch us. There's no punishment except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just won't ascend. You don't what do I need to do? And sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh. Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith. Alright, um, can I make a multi-tool? <laughs> no, of course not. Why would I be able to do that? Shit. Alright, fine. Um... friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not really in orbit? What if there is no a vehicle. That's why you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not live in it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does it seem strange to you? Shoot. Jesus Christ said, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek moksha. Liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there. But if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. 
I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. Throwing it overboard. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. The flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have faith that the transcendent will catch us. There's no punishment except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just won't ascend. You don't transcend, and sooner or later, and probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh back. Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world, we all hate this world. We ain't living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not really in orbit? What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not live in it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange to you? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek auction, liberation from the cycle of rebirth. The they all ask Mars. us to embrace yeah. the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been right. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I oh, couldn't tell you. Come on, get up. Dad, Jesus. I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're way down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have faith that the transcendent will catch us. There's no punishment, except how you are already being punished. There's no retribution, unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just want to say, you don't transcend. Sally should learn from Arthur, are you jumping in some of the uh, shooting in the video? The way yeah. things are going, you're finished. Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We ain't living in this flesh bag. That's right. Our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not really in orbit? What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, really hate, the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not live in it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange to you? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said, all who will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek motion, liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a pickup vehicle.
I've talked to the Transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there, but if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about Jeez. Okay, no fine. one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. My dumbass, why did I click this that? Is taking a leap of faith. We have our faith that the transcendent will touch us. There's no punishment. Except how you are already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already. Sally's his trap slap slaps his trap. Sally is dumb. Yeah, that's fair. Don't transcend and sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh back. Y'all want some rat potatoes? Let's go. Let's get those cups out of the way. Everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We ain't living in That's this That's not the one I tried to flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say sure. I'm missing something I hate here. living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. Open. What if the big There's gotta be something I'm missing here, but I don't know what. What if there is no. Oh, I am an idiot. That's why you need to hate, to really hate. Why can I not climb? Why can I not climb? Without any solid confirmation. Sally, did you forget how to climb? Hello? Does it seem strange to you? I am supposed to climb, right? I'm not crazy, right? The Hindus seek auction, liberation from the cycle of labor. They all ask us to embrace the next world and joyfully give up this world. Because of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Just I would have been happy to stay up there, but if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about not. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. Don't mind me dying. You can't. It's ballast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have faith that the transcendent will catch us. There's no punishment except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just won't ascend. You don't transcend. And sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, you're flat. Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our what? test of faith, my friends. We hate this world, we all hate this world. We ain't living in okay, this I'm really confused flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. Because I can't climb, apparently. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say... I'm not, like, forgetting something, am I? Control. What am I supposed to do? Am I, am I dumb? Am I missing something? What is going on? I'm really scared at this point. This Let's trigger all of these, I guess. What if 
there is no big up vehicle. That's why you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not believe in it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange to you? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said, oh, so ever will save his life should. The Hindus see auction, liberation from the silent reaper. They all ask us to embrace the next world and joyfully give up this world. Because perhaps there is a pickup vehicle. I mean on it. I'm taught to the trans. I don't know what I'm missing. I, I really don't know what I'm missing. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there, but if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about Martin. Do I just have to go through here? Okay, why are you talking about look like Martin and the cowards? Don't worry, we'll I'm talking about leaving the flesh bag behind. Throwing it overboard. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're way down by a bag? <laughs> you can't. It's There's nowhere to jump up here, so. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. I, I really don't know what I'm supposed to be. Our soul. <laughs> Reese, please look it up. I'm asking you to. We have our faith. Look at that. Look at my little husband. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Because I can't climb here. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I hate living in a 
What they're gonna poison Shoot. everyone with. Jesus Christ said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. If I've done this right, they realize the world is a lot bigger than the Garden District. Or something. We're going to start handing out the cups now. Don't worry, there's enough for everyone. More than enough. But don't sip it, or you might feel sick for a bit. A little might make you queasy. A full cup and you won't feel a thing. You'll just wake up in a little while, feeling no pain, feeling no gravity, looking down at the earth from the pickup vehicle, and then you'll get to meet everybody up there. Hands are really beautiful, aren't they? They're like God's hands. I've never noticed all the colours. Is this heaven? Life's so short, you know? This place is bad. It's a bad place. Why did you want us to die? Why? It's because you wanted to die, isn't it? You just wanted company. Let's get out of here. We're leaving. You can kill yourself if you like. <coughs> Wait, don't go. Rip. You'll miss the pickup vehicle. You'll all miss the pickup vehicle. The pickup vehicle? Um. You sick, dying bastard. What are you doing? These people are trying to get to a higher plane of existence. Are you mad? Or are you just a swindler who's convinced himself? I don't think I care. Prove it's not true. You can't. You might as well try to prove that God doesn't exist. I We're think Wellington Wells is a pretty good proof of that. Uh, Get out, meddler! Yeah. Heathen! What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more.
wish it was quicker to travel places. Great. So tired. I think he's too sick to even cure. Who did that? I sniffed you out. Just leave us alone, you bastard. Punching the you stopped them. How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are deaf. Here, the recipes you need to replace the Blackberry Joy. You'll need red owl butterflies, Opsiphanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. And you get to go hang out with Ollie again. Yay! Off I go After. to the train station. We're not going to the then, train station yet, though. To catch some butterflies. No, ma'am, what we're doing is going to get our daughter changed real quick. Quicker playing as Arthur. The younger Bruton? Christ, that's a lot of plague victims. I guess they all want to go home. I guess they've forgotten why they're here in the garden district. Excuse me! That feels odd. Shit, 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 shit. We're so pleased you survived the garden district. Doo -doo -doo. Oh god damn it, are you gonna come and fucking fight me now? Please don't. Look what I found. You didn't find anything, sir. Oh, 
There's so many of them behind me. I'm just trying to get to my daughter. Uh, that I don't have. Haha. <laughs> because children are not allowed. Stop being mad at me for like two seconds. Pretty please. <laughs> Alright. How do you have? I've lost my dollar. <laughs> to do. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> right, the daughter that never was. You just love milk. Yes. Fuck! Please tell me I have the stuff to make a water filter. Child, I'm coming. There. That feels better, doesn't it? Try to make it last, please. It's much harder to make a decent nappy than it is to poop on one. Try telling that to a critic, though. <clears throat> is that how ice cream is made? Yeah. You a bit. You're tired, aren't you? I'm gonna be so tired you could cry too. Did you know that? Why don't you close your lovely eyes? The girl needs her beauty sleep. Wouldn't you like to have some lovely dreams? Mummy could really use some lovely dreams. Well, yeah, really lovely could. Dreams.
I've forgotten how bright Joy is. Should clear up soon, I imagine. I'm going to take Ban's eye lesson. Well, they all cleared out, didn't they? <clears throat> Double rainbow. Jesus. Jesus, woman. Where are the Americans? Where are the Russians? They ran away. Anyway. Remember this is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. I remember the Russians. They mounted the and do it before they even.
scorch marks. Did somebody blow it up? I hope the butterfly survived. I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me. Getting out that way. Hello. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I'd go anyway. Go to pretend you never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids Locking adapt. New marketing oh, you year can't right understand now. what it's like, can you? <laughs> For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. And you probably never will be, will you? About that, Mama. Uh... Arthur always had the worst nightmares about this place. I suppose I would too, if... Hiding up there, are you? You think I can't climb in these heels? You're so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. Oh my god, 
there's so many of you. Believe the day mummy's had. I could have just climbed up here. <laughs> Is there somewhere else I can jump? May have fallen asleep last night. Yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. We can play today, though, once I'm done streaming. Uh, I have to take Reese to work too, but yeah. Oh, my God. Andre, oh, 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 oh
Coming. There. Happy? Alright, uh, now I have to get up there somehow. No, do not jump there. Okay. Got it. Um, maybe I have to come through here first. It's not good, is it? <laughs> um. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Fuck! I forgot to jump. One woman beats three men. Sally is a dom uh, dominator. Dom dominant. How the fuck do you pronounce that? Dominatrix? Is that what it is? Yeah, yes. Dom dominatrix. Okay. Alright, I will be back. Uno momento. Okay, or it's not gonna fucking work for me. Got it. Alright. Sally ain't got the hops. No, she doesn't. Anyway, I will be right back.
All right, we're back. Um, oh, right, forgot. Was around the corner. Sally needs to get good, bro. I can grab these over here real quick. Big Hey. Let's get it. What you know about Simp? Big Simp, no pimp. I stay in till I win. Big Simp, no pimp. I stay in till I win. Big Simp. What y'all know about Simp? Real shit. Big Simp. Big Simp. Big Simp. Big Simp. Big Simp. Well. You wouldn't survive the winter anyway. Gods have answered Tabby's prayers about three episodes too late. What do you mean? Wanting a lot pick. Oh, yeah. Yup. They had to take their sweet time with it, obviously. get out of here. And the 30 minute search, yes. This is brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. I better finish that batch of blackberry joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. Can I catch the hornets?
It's just not getting me. It's too many people. It's all falling apart. That lightning now. Easy. <laughs> Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the garden district. to that police officer, anyway. <clears throat> well, look at you. Do you remember when we used to swim in the river? I don't. Oh, a bit too bright and shiny, Sally.
Oh, soon. it's been too long. All right. Something tells me I should, no, I was going to say I should take care of the child first, but uh, that's fine. Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. The lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Ho, <laughs> ho, won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Sure, I guess. Not like I get a choice. Um, the lads have um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Hold you for a bit, right? That was, uh, that and Miss Boyle something. will be sure to synthesize a blackberry on time next time, so we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all That's you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. Ow. Eyelash in the eye. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. No, it's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be.
that's exactly how Mummy feels. She's not allowed to show it to anyone. Not even you. Our baby's got a rash on her face. What's up, hon? It's a child. It is a child. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. Oh, you've got a cough. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Looks more like chicken, to be honest. Jeremy, hello, how are you? Welcome in. Oh my god. The babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I gonna get cod liver oil? Chillin', how are you? I'm doing alright. Um Yeah, it's been a long cod couple of days, oil. but we're having fun with this game right now, so we're yes. doing good. Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty huh? pissed off at mommy right now. What do you mean? I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. Oh, tease, no. All right, all right. I told right. you if you want some, buy yourself some. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. You're me food you're there. This is not going to be fun. You're not going to the big BX, you're just going to the mini. What am I doing? <sighs> Dizzy. I should be teaching you things instead of telling you my troubles, shouldn't I? I mean, who else do I have to talk to? <clears throat> and you never call me a stupid cow. <laughs> Promise me you'll never talk about yourself the way mommy does, okay? out of my alleyway you bitch anyway Oh, Jeremy, I never asked. How was it playing with Shadow? I saw the couple of videos she posted. Phobia with Shadow. I saw the couple of videos she posted and she was talking about it a little bit. She knows a lot. She really does. She's the one that taught me how to play Faz. 
And then I've been friends with her for years beyond that. Hello. So. <laughs> it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice you. surprise. Yes, we haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, we should play like sometime for sure. Blackberry she still gives bad advice what sometimes. Do no, she doesn't. Without our Blackberry joy. Nah. And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce when are you your presence? When are you planning on streaming again, Jeremy? Please. I'll be... Uh, Dr. Verloc, sir? I me, said on no interruption. Is, Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a you quandary, sir, right as you have expressly die. forbidden me to speak her name hey, on any the account. Hey, move on. Memorize the map. Goddamn. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Later tonight. Okay. Depending on when you stream, I'll see if I can hop in for a couple of rounds. You steal my I don't notes. My notes, today, Doctor. So. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Holy fuckity fuck. Why do I get cod liver oil now? So respectable, I love it. Wait, <laughs> Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the garden district, he was so mad, but he could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. I thought Arthur came to me. I could have sworn Arthur was the one that was to me. Bright joys. <sighs> Alright. Game is lagging a little bit right now. Sally uses Arthur, <laughs> no matter how mad they are. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I just realized I haven't upgraded any of my stuff in a long, long time. All right. Um. Hmm. I could use this one. This one's really not gonna do anything for me, so I'm not that worried about it. Um. This one will be good. I'm gonna buy the low tier ones first and then we'll get the top tier in a little while. Once I actually have the stuff for it. Cool. <clears throat> it's a start.
There you are. Right is right. Right is right. Her foggy jack hides. We have stuff we can read. He wasn't crazy. No, he was charming, smart. Uh, he didn't care that I was a girl. Not in the lab. He was uh, sure he was a bit cold, but I thought he was just a scientist. It was against us against all the idiots who couldn't see. Guess I was keeping him sane or something. God knows I was fixing his calculations. God, I hate men. I mean, I love men, but sometimes I hate them. Rip. Went sick fucking measles. How do we even have measles here? The book says vitamin A. We don't get a lot of sun, do we? I mean, I get some sun, but if I did have um, have any milk, I wouldn't bloody well give it to anyone to drink. Uh, book says cod liver oil. Of course it does. Mom's book. Um, book wasn't written in Wellington Wells after the victory. Where do I get it? Uh, Arthur would know where he's so smart, but he still hates me. Of course, Anton has it, so I need to go see him. This will probably go horribly long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. We didn't know that. Cool. Time to go th find Arthur. I can't- why can't I not- I want the butterflies! Okay, whatever. Oh look, more. Give me them butterflies. Can't get them now though. <clears throat> Arthur, why do you have to be so far away, bro? I might not quite 
too bad. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, that reminds me. Is there anywhere I can fast travel yet? Okay, so I can fast travel there. Which is fine because my house is like there. Well, that's good to know for future reference. Got it. <laughs> Not me glitching through the crowd and seeing rocks. I should probably go to that other access, that way I don't have to run back and forth. When I get the chance, anyway. I completely forgot fast travel was a thing in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Why did you scream? That was a really random scream and I don't like it. I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with? What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask. I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. Sally liar. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... A little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After... What your mum did? What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I could have sworn this this cutscene took place at her house. I'm sorry, I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll, I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really, really. It just, I'll just came out. Go, get you that bottle. Meet you back here, sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? Yeah, I could have sworn. Hmm. Oops, wrong button. Alright. Where is 
exactly is this taking me this time? Okay. Um. It's taking me there. You know what time I'm streaming, Del Reese. I stopped streaming at 3 and you know this. Maybe he meets her at her house. Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Can I, can I get him to go in? Y'all want to open the door for me? Hello, boys. Keeping okay. us safe. Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, Miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. Cool. I found a loose bullet there in the mud the other day. You lot you don't appreciate the general, because all you know is the I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moons. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit when Alpha Blue. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle, we weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French, ma'am. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were going to close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why don't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, while I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Happy to see you. He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally, I suppose you drift away, sir. How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. <clears throat> I realise you must be out of rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I around just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours? It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Uh oh. Sally's got a baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. 
So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but they made everyone so unhappy. Can, can you get us out? I might be able to get her out if I'm very clever, but no, I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I have a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. You don't know what it's like to be alone, do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I love him. I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. Is the general... I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. Just pretend it is. I was going the wrong way, go me. I think he knows Sally, not 100% sure though. Yeah, I think so too. Take a break and join the painters next Monday. Um, Any volunteers will be excused from launching. Oh, you guys are not good. Got it. Okay, I'm a dumbass. General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat, oh, but does it work? Miss hmm. Boyle, how lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats, and you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the general's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. 
We tried to patch up a Q-boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, um, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? We may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. <laughs> I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. <laughs> first things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? So, do you think Sally makes it out or does the baby cry at the wrong time? I feel like she's gonna make it out. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Yeah, I got brutal. Who drinks that much whiskey? Good. Now I can sneak. Ah, oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. They can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. Let's be going right now.
True one or do three pieces. Uh, fuck off on solo happiness. That's where I have to go. Why can't I fast travel? Oh, because I haven't been in that one. Fuck. From this lo location, I can't. Is it because I was inside? Or am I just dumb? No. Home, James. Out of the smelly darkness into... Well, not that much better. Who's there? Asked Little Red Riding Hood's mother. It's a, it's a little red riding hood, said the wolf. We don't sound a little bit like my daughter, the little red riding hood's mother. Ah, yeah, I, I'm hoarse but out of breath. She needs some strawberry milk. <laughs> oh, I can't pass time from here? Shit. That's not about
I'll get out. Cool. Are there like... What is this? Oh. Um, no. That's crafting station. These heels are killing me. Shouldn't have any trouble sleeping. Mrs. Pankhurst is a shop. How long has she had a shop? Hello, I shouldn't Miss be surprised. Boyle. Usual. That woman could sew a... Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. Alright. Sally, why is your answer to punch everything? Because why not? What? If you're still planning on playing Phasmophobia once I take you to work. Couldn't be better, thanks. Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Sorry, I'm just so picky these days. Oh. Sorry, must die. No, bitch! I love the smell of Who is that for? Oh. So modern. No.
be, I hope. Okay, is it not here that I'm supposed to... It's upstairs, got it. Mrs. Pankhurst, how have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful when things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the Reform Club, but my old outfit, uh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform for the Reform Club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda, and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. I'll come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. I wish I'd learned to sew. Okay. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. Am I blind? Pulls that object, who's that for? You motherfuckers are nosy. I agree. Hmm. That's where I need to go. I thought it was the other way around with the yellow being the ones that we've already visited. Are you serious? So this is the closest one. Alright, I guess. Mind the gap, please.
Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Did you get a bag of them or just one of their little boxes? Yes. Today, please. I need to turn. I like butterflies. <laughs> anyway. Moving on. Rubbish no ID. Leave my friend alone! No. Oh, butterflies. Happy punches random woman and then does Peter Griffin laugh evil? <laughs> anyway. I'm not sorry. Not at all. Yam worshippers only. Endless suffering awaits those who disrespect the yam. Taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They, it's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. No, I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Knock, knock, motherfuckers. Help me, they're gonna cook up my heart and eat it. Oh, oh, dear. Think we should all eat it. Just... No, please, no, don't kill me! My god, they're gonna cut his heart out. I, I don't think I want to find all these so vegetable worshippers. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look, they're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the old no, one. Please, no, Names don't are kill
Damn it, I should have collected that. Oh well. A oh, secret. How many are there? And may One, not be said. Two, three, four. Whispered in the shadow of the new I can take them. When I wear my cloak of shadow, ye shall assemble Save in me. some Save secret me. place. Please. <laughs> ah. Jesus. Okay, y'all strong. All right, I got it. Gotcha. Ah! Uh. I need my heart, please. Help! Ah. Rude. Good night. You be beat. No, please, please, no! Don't kill me. Did you not? Sweets if I came along with them. There weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. Is he incapacitated? Oh, he. Oh. Oh, I see. Um, wow, that looks painful, sir. Uh, yep. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, you're uh, you guys, all right? You saved him. You can trust me. Hell no, I wish I had. A bloody leg usually I just, love uh, that lad. Giveaway. I didn't He's see it one at first, of the all right? best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a general's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines, beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? 
Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save Eddie, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, so we're supposed you to ignore the rat painted as a parrot, right? For a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about Poor boats already. Eddie. Poor When is Poor Arthur getting Eddie. that cod liver oil? I wanted to say Maybe it. he's got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. Okay. So, going home... Well, hold up. Where am I at right now? I'm right there. Nah, it's not even worth it. Let's just go home. Hello? Sensible Sloth! Sloth, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. How is everybody doing? How are you guys... How was your stream? Muha, would you mind getting on that shout out? Let's see how things go. Oh. My nose needs a bath. I was supposed to go to the garden district. <laughs> I forgot that he's not meeting me at the home. He's meeting me there. Um... Where is he meeting me? Hmm. Struggle. All right, thank you, Muha. Appreciate it. Um, not me forgetting where I'm supposed to go. I have to go here. Got it. Oh my god. Why did it, why didn't I just run there? <sighs> All right. I guess we're Why can't I fast travel? I guess we're going to Raven's Raven's home. Ashiati on this one. <laughs> I'm still new at this, damn it. Rip. I am so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. I could just cut through, but I guess not. <laughs> uh. Slotha, what was your streaming today? Before I get too much Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Mass Effect, how is it? We are the whole I don't think I've played it. No, I haven't played it.
first and I'm playing Legendary Edition. Ooh. Sounds like fun. It's always darkest before Could the dawn. Get out of my way, sir. How long is <gasps> what is with her randomly screaming? I don't understand. Yo, what's up? Hi. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Have you got my letter of transit, then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what, what you want. Always what you, you need. You Every little Sally whim. Bloody okay. cod yeah, liver sure. oil. Am I really that awful? What? Just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um. My left hand. Oh, good lord. Sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. It's something I have to tell you. No, th th that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? All right. Even um, first things first. Where the hell am I? I'm right there. So I'm gonna go open this hatch real quick so I can actually fucking get there. Hear me. Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. What that happening in our home because I remember the door slamming. Yup. Knew I wasn't the only one. Alright. Um, I will be back. Give me like two minutes.
All right. Um, I can't zoom in anymore, can I? No, I can't. There's no way this is it either. No, it is. Gwen, don't be afraid of the dark. Just bring a torch. There. As easy as unhooking a bra. Now I can come back whenever I like. I can't tell if Mrs. Witherington is preggers or just fat. Don't use that word, it's horrible. Her husband is a prisoner of war, but she goes everywhere with Lieutenant Olbricht. Maybe she's just eating extra rations. Anyway, we'll know in a few months, won't we? You can't tell either way. That dress is so baggy. That's enough of that, Sully Boyle. As easy as unhooking your <laughs> The yellow brick road. Oh, God, my feet are killing me. The butterflies here. Maybe whatever. I'm not worried about it. He's got something wonderful for you. That actually is perfectly horrid. <laughs> I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. All right. I know a thing or two about the General's boat. Now I just need a boat motor. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. 
I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's not pretty me spilling neat, tea isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you someone's on. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. You wanted her. Don't get me wrong, I was Come only on, dancing. I know you're in there. I James. was watching from the stairs. Roger, it's Sally Boyle. James. If Sally can carry a boat oh, motor, Sally. we need to ask why she's what having so much trouble Roger. knocking out the guards. Roger, it's Sally right, Boyle. Right. Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James. She said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck! She's right upstairs. Roger! All right. Well, this isn't right either, because this whole setup was in the garden district before. But we're not going to talk about that. Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. <laughs> you're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. It disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but the make believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn we sold. That's my favorite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? Well, that sneeze is more complicated than a boat motor. Thought you are here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song? That awful song. <laughs> I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Where the hell did I leave it there? Now I remember. They wanted to carry me around in that car like I was some sort of conquering hero. I just wanted to get down on the ground. Clean forgot there was anything in that goddamn suitcase. Hello? Okay, what the hell? 
did ya? Baby, I wouldn't do this for anybody else. And here's Nick's key card. Why do they make dresses with pockets, for Christ's sakes? Lovely day for it. Odd. Can I, uh, can I get in here? No, I can't even bribe you. All right. So that was a waste of time. Um. Funky as ever. I'm not surprised the maid quit. It's probably down in his secret lair. How do we get down there? He had some sort of secret button, didn't he? Well, this is a clever hint.
A cha-cha for three guitars. Paranoid, aren't we? What's he been taking? Someone actually likes this record. Aside from Nick, of course. Why is there a flower on his ass? I'm not gonna question it, I'm just gonna take it. very tall today. Did you hear? Mrs. Sapper found a bomb buried in her garden. Lucky it didn't blow her up. Sleeping it off. At least he's taking a bath. That's something. Can we wake him up? No. Okay.
fuck in a bucket. Whoa, look, lads. It's our lucky day. We don't need to go through this again, do we? Don't you remember what happened last time? I have a very poor memory. <laughs> Almost as bad as my impulse control. <laughs> Fact remains, you have been sending unapproved pharmaceuticals in Bobby Catesby's domain. And you ain't paid for that privilege. All right. Let's dance. Here, that's the one that did it. There's the murderer, right there. I'm not a murderer. At least not that you know of. On yourself. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You won't get away with this. I see ya. Come with me. Stop them. There's the murderer. I see you. You're coming with me. No, I'm not. I see you. That's the one more done it. No need to get excited after all. Mercy. Well, I'm glad. Oh, yeah. no. The one with the Look, blood she on her. I know she did. You won't get away with this. Why won't you? This the one that did it. I don't see what all the trouble is about. Look at her right there. She's coming. me down oh my god you know who I am bro you know who I am I would like to know who I'm in combat with right now, because as far as I can see, I'm not. They locked up Dr. Faraday. Why? <sighs> These heels are ridiculous, really. to know who the fuck I'm in combat with. Got you. You're really ringing me down. Just taking a load off.
Do you have my record? I have indeed. This is fantastic. I'm finally going to be able to make my portal. Uh, never mind about that. And my motor? Have you made that? And you have earned your boat motor. I won't ask you whose boat or where you're sailing it. I have an entirely different plan. Does it involve portals? Clever lass. Hmm. Remarkably compact for a boat motor. All right. I've got a boat motor and a boat manual. Now all I need is the General's bloody key. He doesn't have it in his office in the camp, or I'd have found it already. If I know him at all, it's in his safe house. These heels are ridiculous, really. That's the old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? Green gas goes all around, green gas goes all around, indeed. I miss my calling. I should have been a secret agent. <laughs> Alright, as long as we can save here, this is where we're gonna have to end it. So, yeah. Alright. Uh, let me f get the raid going. We're gonna raid Eli, and then we're gonna play Phasmophobia with him in a little bit here. So, yeah. Sure, he's still. Yep. <laughs> Uno momento, please. Okay. All right. Uh, go ahead and raid Eli. He is playing something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Uh, I will be live again tomorrow, though, uh, noon to 3.30 again. We're going to be playing, oh, what's tomorrow, Sunday? Little Nightmares tomorrow. Ugh. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, like I said, though, I will be hanging out with Eli in a little bit here. Um, 
later on we're gonna play phasmophobia so that'll be fun and yeah that's about all i got for y'all um yeah all right have a nice day guys I need to build more enemies for this. Um, there's four woods in the chest. Um, we need them. That's the thing, I just need speedy raid. Oh, thanks for the raid. I got you. Um, how much? I'm just gonna craft all I can. Oh. Why you let me need it, though? 